Hello, hello, namaste. It's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for this week ahead. So I will be pulling cards and um, sharing some insight or guidance, we could say, for this whole week. That's starting today. For me, it's today, Monday the 24th of August. It may still be Sunday for you. Uh, and I'll be pulling cards for every day this week uh, through to Sunday the 30th of August. Um, extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. So if you're new to watching, welcome. We've had a, quite a few new viewers lately, so I want to send out a welcome to you. Please let us know if you are new in the comments so that we can welcome you and welcome also to my regular viewers. What I'll be doing today is I'll be using my combined deck of Animal Kingdom Oracle cards with my Speed of Light Oracle. And I'll be using these cards. That's 110 cards in this deck. They are shuffled. <laughs> there are cards in between all of these black sections. Um, I'll be using these cards to find the best card for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, through to, Friday, uh, through to Sunday, actually, the 30th of August, and then one card for the theme uh, for this whole week ahead. So I'm not pulling cards for individuals. I don't uh, do individual readings on my videos. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust 100% that you've been led here for a reason and I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. So please take on board what feels right and what fits into your life easily and let the rest go. Now because pretty much all of this that I'm going to share today is future based, at least at the time I'm sharing it, if you're watching this throughout the week then there should be um, you know, previous days that you can relate to and understand. But when we're doing future readings like this, um, you know, it could be very kind of uh, difficult to resonate with because it is based in the future. So what I do recommend that you do is come back and revisit the video um, a couple of times a week, perhaps maybe on Thursday, maybe on Sunday or Saturday and see how things are falling into place for you based on what guidance is shared. So um, thank you so much. I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to set up my board, but for you it's just going to be an instant. So I'll be back in just a moment with the cards. Okay, let's grab some cards. So I'm shuffling the cards. Let me just turn this around so I can see. Let's shuffle the cards. And I'm shuffling my cards now and asking the cards to show me the best or bring up the best cards that the majority of us need for Monday the 24th of August, Tuesday the 25th, Wednesday the 26th, sun, uh, Thursday the 27th of August, Friday the 28th, Saturday the 29th, Sunday the 30th of August and then the best card for the theme for this whole week ahead. So I trust that whatever cards we need, the majority of us need for this week ahead, that these cards will find their way to the top of the deck based on the way I choose my cards. So the best cards for this week are these. So I'll just pop the deck down. We have Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the theme. Well, there seems to be nice order, a nice orderly pattern to our spread today, which is um, actually very much aligned with what I was talking about in the current energy report about order. So, let's have a look. This is the best card for Monday the 24th of August. And it is card three called the Chameleon. And it says down here to give it your full attention. 
So what being what we are being encouraged to consider on Monday is to stay focused and give something that requires our attention our fullest attention. So let's be careful that we're not being partially attentive or partially doing something, but that we're giving something and the things that we're focusing on on Monday especially, 100% of our energy, um, our time and attention. Now this is Tuesday the 25th of August. Oh, we haven't seen this card for quite a while. and In fact, some of you who are quite new to these readings may not have even seen this before. It's card 25 called Pause and it says Hold, Time, Transition, Suspension and Limbo. This suggests that on Tuesday we might feel that we're in a bit of a holding pattern. And it's unlikely to be something that we kind of just feel on Tuesday. So we could probably already, most of us, might be able to relate to this. We may have been feeling like we're in limbo or in a holding pattern for a few days, maybe even a few weeks, and it's probably going to reach a bit of a peak on Tuesday. For some of us too, we may find that we spend extra time waiting or things on or being on hold and things just being sort of delayed a bit on Tuesday as well. We can use this time of waiting or this time of pause or limbo to pay attention and spend time investing in our healing um, and releasing things that are problematic to us and our life and look at things that are holding us back. So there might be some valuable time we can find on Tuesday to heal and mend and to use this limbo pause time to our advantage because they're never comfortable times to be in. So what can we do with this opportunity? Where is the opportunity in this? Um, and what? how can we take advantage of this energy in this situation? This is Wednesday, the 26th of August. Ah, I'm really not surprised this card's come up, especially based on the current energy report I've just written. Um, this very much relates as well. It's card 32 called the Yogi, and it says teacher, student, wisdom, study, and leader. This is about the light bulb moment. It's the epiphany. It's when the penny drops. It's when something we've been dealing with that's been perhaps problematic or something we've been confused about. It's like suddenly there's clarity. So it's like suddenly, you know, like we're driving along in our vehicle, the windscreen's all dirty or wet and we can't see through it properly. And then like suddenly it's like something happens or something shifts or a little piece of information is given that brings a clarity so it like clears that window so we can see again moving forward. So there is a potential clarity coming on Wednesday at the penny dropping, a light bulb moment. And this card also brings with it learning and leading. So learning new skills, learning maybe formally in some type of education, but also learning in life um, and teaching or leading. So what, uh, how does that relate to you in your life? Uh, where, especially on Wednesday, are you leading the way with something or are you teaching formally or informally your experience to others? Now, this is Thursday, the 27th of August. Huh, we have the crocodile card five and it says stand in your survival power. So this is about reminding ourselves on Thursday that we are survivors, that uh, we've survived before and we will survive again. There is also a slow and steady pace to this crocodile card. And there is, um, like I did mention in the report, there is a very serious orderly energy around. And um, this very much fits in with that energy too. There's a plodding, slow and steady, quite serious um, energy around at the moment that's reminding us to keep things or get things into order. But at the same time, there's a lot of old order that is breaking down. So we're finding our steady pace on Thursday and we're being reminded that we are survivors and let's stand in our power on Thursday as needed. Now, this is Friday the 28th of August. Oh, we have card 13 called Scattered. 
and it says overwhelm, confusion, concentrate and plan. This is an unruly bit of a chaotic energy, scattered energy that's potentially coming in for Friday. Things may be neither here nor there. We might feel a bit confused or overwhelmed with things that we're dealing with in our life. And there is just a general sense of things being blown around. So like a scattered, overwhelming feeling potentially. But the good thing about this card too is that it brings raw creative energy or raw potential. So there might be things that are happening in the background or behind the scenes that are really working themselves out or, or creating or finding a new order, we could say, or a structure um, behind the scenes. What we've been encouraged to do on Friday too, especially if we're feeling this, is to create a very simple, doable plan um, something just to help us get through our day and to stay focused, um, just to ride this kind of windy, stormy sort of energy out. Now, this is Saturday, the 29th of August, and it's the Fiddler Crab card 46 that says to be on guard, but don't be paranoid. So we're being encouraged to stay on guard, to stand our ground on Saturday. And to this is like a protection card to help keep us protected, but also to keep our energy balanced, especially if we're being hit with some um, of this chaotic energy that's potentially coming in on Friday. We may need to kind of protect ourselves. You know, like um, if there's a storm outside, we're going to be quite battered about if we don't have protection. Like if we go out in our swimming suit, for example, in a big, cold, windy storm, we're going to get battered about. But like on Saturday, it's like um, having the protection up. So wearing our full clothes, having our um, jacket on or our beanie or our gloves or our umbrella or whatever shelter we might need to protect us from a storm. There's that sort of feeling around. So these two cards and these two days seem to kind of go together. So we might have the Fiddler Crab's message of being on guard and protecting ourselves just, you know, so we don't get battered too much. That might overlap into Friday and this may overlap into Saturday. So let's work together with these energies to ride this temporary. This is always temporary as this is always temporary, the pause and limbo. So temporary, temporary, bit of stirring up, we could say. This is Sunday the 30th of August and we have the lunar cycle. It's a featured timing card. So let me put this up here because we need to pull, oopsie, I dropped my blue tack. Let's just split this up a bit more. Okay, so this card has further instructions here, which say to take the second card from the top of the deck. So I'm going to go down to the second card. Ha, I'm definitely not surprised the gorilla's come up either. So the gorilla has come up for... Saturday with the lunar cycle. It's very interesting, <laughs> very interesting. This is strong energy around at the moment too. So the lunar cycle, let's talk about these separately and then we'll look at their relationship together. They've come up together for a reason. The lunar cycle talks about one month, so one lunar cycle. Um, I actually think there might be a full moon coming up. This is for Sunday the 30th of August there would be a full moon around this time. I don't know exactly when, but it was will probably be a few within three days. I think on on the after this. So this is highlighting the period from one full moon to the next full moon. That this one month period is going to be really important for us to follow this advice. And this advice is to do the right thing. It's card nine, the gorilla. Do the right thing. He is stern, he is serious, he is stubborn, and he means business. He has a serious energy to him, and the energy is so serious at the moment, at least when I'm recording this, and it probably is going to continue throughout the week. So there's something serious about um, this energy on Sunday that we're being encouraged to really consider doing what is right. Now, sometimes doing what is right means that we do what is right for the situation or right for others, even if it's something that we don't particularly want to do, but we know that we have to do what's right, what's fair and what's just. Um, there may also be an element to this card where we need to stand our ground and stand up 
for what we feel is right. So um, there's a strong sense here of common sense as well as integrity that's coming up with this card. So this is very much about truth. So this might be applied specifically for Sunday, but it's going to probably be in effect for about a one month cycle. Now this card is our theme card for this whole week ahead. It's going to help bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture for this week. So what we can already see from the theme is there is a lot of temporary energy moving in, which shows maybe a bit of disruption, a bit of uncomfortableness, a bit of confrontation that's going to test our comfortable zone uh, potentially this week. Um, we're being encouraged to stay focused, um, to move through our limbo time, to pay attention to light bulb moments that will give us insight into situations in our life. Keep finding our slow and steady pace. There may be a bit of scattered, confronting energy, overwhelming energy coming up around early weekend, but we're being encouraged to stay on guard and make sure that we do what is right in a situation that we're dealing with at the moment. And we will know what the right thing to do is. So let's be serious and uh, really sit in that. I mean, this gorilla card, he's like a mountain or a big, big solid rock. He is fixed and he is serious. So there's something strong about that coming in for Sunday. So the theme card here will bring these days together. Oh, we have another featured card. Interesting. We've got the shaman. So let's see. It has further instructions here which say to fan out the deck and choose a card. So let's grab the rest of the deck, fan it out, and I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to let my fingers do the walking. And we've got purification for this week uh, for the theme. Can you see that there? Not quite. Let me just move these up just a wee bit. Okay, so... We'll look at these cards separately, then we'll look at their relationship together. We have the Shaman card 17. It says solitude, grounding, mending, privacy and reassess. So this brings highlight to private time that we're probably going to need this week. Time to mend, time to assess our life, time to heal that we may need to make time for throughout this week. From Monday through to Sunday if we can find the time. It might be five minutes, it might be a day, it might be the week. We may have already arranged a week off, for example. I certainly haven't, but I mean, some people may have. Um, so this is going to be really important, our private time, um, and we may find that we just don't really feel like being that sociable this week. So there's probably going to be that sort of feeling around. And it's come up with this card, which is card eight, called Purification. And it says, Cleanse, Detoxification and Toxins. This is about purging and clearing and healing and releasing. So basically these two cards together have come up to remind us this week if we need to, let's see if we can make some time, especially private time, to clear and purge and release things that we're struggling to deal with. So if we're struggling on Tuesday because of this limbo, unsettled feeling, limbo brings unsettled energy. Scattered brings unsettled energy. If we're feeling unsettled, we may, and uh, even overwhelmed, we may need to just make a little bit of time to be private, step into nature, um, step into our private space, and really think about what needs clearing and purging from ourselves and from our life. Okay, so we may have a bit of an up and down week this week. Uh, please don't let this information... Um, uh, you know, like add difficulty to your week. It's supposed to be here to support you. And if we know in advance what's potentially potential, <laughs> um, then we can be prepared and we can work through that energy maybe a little bit easier, which is a big reason, a big part of the reason why I do and share in this way. Um, before I finish, I just want to talk a little bit about overwhelm. Um, being overwhelmed is not a comfortable space to be in and I've dealt with this like any person <laughs> quite a bit over the years um, and I found a few things out about overwhelm energy. Um, first of all, it tends to be a state of mind. So our mind tends to 
um, make us think that we are just so overwhelmed with things, things we've got to do, pressure that we're under, um, lots and lots of stuff going on and we kind of feel um, for the most part that we're running out of time or we don't have time to do everything uh, which can then contribute and, and um, help create that overwhelmed feeling. So when I feel that, I challenge it. Um, so when I kind of snap into some sense, <laughs> so I'll be in my overwhelmed state for a little bit, maybe an hour or two or something, or the morning, and then I'll kind of snap into a bit of sense and go, okay, let's do something about this. So then I will grab a piece of paper, or sometimes my journal, and I'll write down all the things that my mind makes me think that I have to do and that I'm not going to have time to do and I've got this deadline and da 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 that my mind is um, just overwhelmed about. So I'll write a big long list, I think it's going to be a big long list and then when I come to write it down there might, instead of being a whole page or pages which my mind makes me believe that is why I'm overwhelmed, there might only be five or six things on this list. So then I can go right, I got some perspective and I can basically, usually if I feel overwhelmed, it's a sure sign for me to stop, get some perspective of the situation and see, okay, this is not as big of a deal as my mind has led me to believe. And then I'll usually take a break. So usually my sign when I'm overwhelmed is that I actually need to take a break. But the thing is, I want to take a break in that overwhelmed state, but the overwhelm is telling me that I don't have time to take a break. So it's kind of a strange situation. So when I get perspective and see, hold on, this is not <laughs> how it felt when I was in the middle of that overwhelm. So actually I just need to take the rest of the afternoon off or I need to tie up a few things today and take tomorrow morning off or um, go on the computer a little later tomorrow or something. So that is short sign for me that I need to take a break. So if that helps you, maybe consider getting some perspective, writing a list, seeing with your eyes what you actually have to do. And uh, if you can, maybe take even, you know, go for a quick walk or step out into nature or do what you can do to just give yourself a break and um, kind of calm that overwhelm down so you can keep getting through your day. But um, it's probably going to be a bit up and down this week and we might feel a bit unsettled. There is a sort of unsettling feeling coming in. There is this breaking down of order and order that we've had with things that we may have had for years. And there is also this creating of new order. There is a very serious orderly energy around at the moment, which is actually breaking things down, which is very unsettling. So see how you go as you flow through the week. And if you're struggling, just see if you can make time for yourself, but also maybe the attitude of, okay, what do I need to do now just to get through my day? Maybe don't overbook things this week and just get through your day, be grateful you've got through your day and then tackle the next day, the next morning. So try not to get too ahead of, uh, of yourself this week. So thanks so much for connecting. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. Um, so I've got some new ceramics I'm decorating this week. I just pulled them out of the kiln yesterday for their first firing. So they're all blank and ready for colour. Um, so I'm going to be glazing, decorating, cleaning, loading the kiln throughout the week. And I would think I would have the kiln uh, on around next weekend. So around the 29th. 30th of August just depends on how I feel and how I'm flowing too and how organized I am in between things so new ceramics coming in about a week um, and I also have some Patreon healing events coming up this week our Patreon healing events for the month come up in the last week of the month so they'll be on this week on Tuesday and Wednesday I think on YouTube on my Temple of Balance YouTube channel. So keep an eye out for those if you are part of it or if you're interested. If you want to learn more about me and the work I do at Temple of Balance, please visit templeofbalance.com.au. Um, where are my cards? Oh yeah, here. I was going to show you my cards before I go. So I've used my Animal Kingdom Oracle cards and my Speed of Light. If you'd love to learn more about either of these decks, you are very welcome to. You can learn more on my website at templeofbalance.com.au.
AU. Thank you so much and have a fantastic week. Happy birthday if you're celebrating a birthday this week. Happy anniversary and happy flowing through the winds of uh, this last week of August. I trust you flow well. So I'll see you soon. Take care of yourself and bye for now. <laughs>